Hey, what's up guys? So, I'm back. Um, haven't had any kind of updates or uh, uploaded videos recently uh, for good reason. A, busy with work, and B, uh, I've been wrenching on a few things. First and foremost, say hello to my dog, Arlo. Sit. It's a good dog. Anyways, um, yeah, so uh, I'm about to give you guys a quick update video on the vehicle, as you can tell. Um, aesthetically, still for the most part the same. We'll leave the engine stuff there, as you can tell. Oh, we got some, some pretty cool goodies there. Um, but we'll leave that for last. Anyways, uh, just a quick walk around on the vehicle. I don't think I've actually made a walk. Here, I'm going to let my dog in. Alright, so <clears throat> I don't think that uh, I've actually made a video um, a walk around of the actual vehicle. So just a quick update again. Um, I'll just give you guys a walk around. Um, this is my 2017 Subaru STI. Um, in terms of uh, aesthetic things that I've done, sitting on Cosmos, uh, XT006 Rs, um, 18 by 9. Um, one new thing I made, uh, I made an install video on how to do it, but I was drunk and um, the video came out pretty shitty. So um, there is a new emblem that I put on. The car has been sitting in the garage for about two, two and a half weeks, and it's still fucking moist. But um, pollen has has really taken its toll on it. Anyways, um, interior. There's nothing really to see. The interior is pretty stock, but um, I keep it extremely clean. I didn't get the vehicle ready for this video, but. You know, I'll show you guys the inside. I've changed the lights out with the red ones. Um, but um, I keep everything extremely freaking clean, man. I don't like my video, my vehicle being dirty. Um, it's an extra coupling. But other than that, the vehicle stays spotless. But yeah, there's the red lights. Um, all right, so as we go around the back here, um, I just put these new overlays um, here. Um, which by the way, if you're gonna do it, uh, heed my advice, um, do not do it without using some form of lubrication, uh, in this case, soap and water. Um, <laughs> again, I was trying to wrench when I was drunk, um, don't do it, but <laughs> I, um, yeah, anyways, I messed up the first time, so I had to order a new one. Uh, there it is there, very, very easy to, to install, um, that is, um, you can order it from, um, Subi Speed, um, that's where I got mine, but you, you really you can get them anywhere. Um, exhaust, you guys already know, um, it's an ETS Extreme, um, no res, no mufflers, um, no cats. Um, I mean, yeah, here is my crew emblem. We are the Boosted Hooligans, tuned by Taylor, of course. Um, shout out to Taylor Tuning out of uh, Nashville, Tennessee, and finally the engine bay. Um, I don't think I have a way to turn the camera on. Let's see. Nope. Well, the light on. Anyways, sorry about the lighting. Um, I just got home from work, so whatever. I just figured I'd make you guys a quick video. I feel like I'm leading my subscribers down, but um, so new things that I've added: um, the top mount. Um, intercooler is new. I went with the ETS setup, um, extreme turbo systems. In this case, obviously, as you can tell, I went with the titanium piping. Uh, I wanted to use something a little bit different, not, not something you see very often. Um, I went with the, uh, I'm going to be rotating it tomorrow. And also, I'm changing the spring out, but uh, the video doesn't do it justice how big this fucking blow off valve is. Um, it is a teal. Or tile, whatever the fuck you want to pronounce it like. Um, QR50. Oh, no, it's not BV50. I'm sorry. It's a QR. Um, yeah, so another really drastic thing I did. Um, I think, I hope you guys like it. You guys ready? I cut the front bumper open for more JDMs. And I also changed the grill out for a JDM grill. So you all ready? Here we go. Here we go. Look at this. Yes. So the front end of the vehicle, um, as you can tell, I cut the whole bottom part here and all the way up to here off. Um, I didn't like the way it was 
really blocking off a lot of the air, which obviously a lot of you will say, oh, well, wouldn't blocking off the air, wouldn't, you know, doing anything, that's how it's designed. Well, fuck that, all right? So I didn't think of it that way, so I cut it open. It came out absolutely fucking beautiful. Um, it came out just great. And then once again, I did change the grill as well out uh, with a JDM grill. Um, so it's missing out on this top vent parts now, of course. And then, uh, yeah, uh, did not want the stencils on it for the same reason. I wanted to go with a really aggressive look. Um, but just again, quick rundown on the vehicle for new, uh, new subscribers. Full bolt-on E85. Um, See, so I got a Cobb SF intake. Cobb flex fuel kit, ID 1050 uh, injectors, 350 pump, um, uh, downpipe, uh, Cobb 20G turbo, which is nice hidden back there. And actually, I can't believe I failed to mention this. The main install of the entire thing, you can't even see it back here, um, is the IEG um, AOS system. I actually went with the competition series. Um, which I highly recommend. It does require a retune, which um, that was my next part of the video I was about to tell you guys about. But um, it does require a retune. Reason being for that, the competition series air oil separator um, for IEG vents uh, atmospherically. So it lets uh, the excess um, um, air um, um, items in, 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 the, in, the, in the engine, uh, well, essentially dump out the bottom. So... Um, you do have to, to, to get it retuned and looked at and whatnot, but um, um, yeah, I do recommend that one. Um, Tuner recommended it. A lot of folks recommended it in general. Um, but guys, I hope the video isn't boring you guys now at this point. Um, I do appreciate every one of you, every each and every one of you subscribers. Um, just on the outside of uh, my garage, I have um, my buddies absolute beautiful mint 17 uh, wrx it's full bolt on e85 um sitting on uh, coilovers and r1 racing rims um it's just beautiful cosmos r1s um beautiful vehicle he's deployed so i'm watching it for him for the next year um i've had it since september uh let me know in the comments in the bottom if you guys would like for me to do a video and a review on it i would be absolutely ecstatic about doing it and then also i'm sure he he would like it as well so um again guys thank you so much for subscribing hanging out there i'm um, waiting for new videos i apologize for the delay in them um but on wednesday 9 30 in the morning i have an appointment to get it retuned so um yeah we'll finally be able to uh get get back on it and um yeah make some more videos some racing videos. Let me know what kind of footage you guys want to see with the new build. And um, yeah. All right, guys. Cheers.